Hello everybody. Hi y'all. Thank you for showing up. Um, I'm going to do a... This is a reaction video, I guess. I don't do reaction videos because I really don't care to get into the YouTube... Um, all this business where they're all criticizing each other and doing stuff like that. I really don't care too much to be involved in that. But there is one that just really, really broke my heart. And just, um, I don't have kids, but it really did strike me. I mean, it just, oh my gosh. Uh, it really made me emotional. And it still does, thinking about it. Um, Micah Stauffer and her husband, they had adopted a child for chi from China and uh, made videos about him and used him, you know, and for like two almost three years I think and he was a child diagnosed with autism and special needs and they knew that going in and she made numerous videos uh, talking about how they were counseled against adopting him but they were going to do it anyway because they had so much strength in their heart and all this <sighs> these loads of crap you know just well, anyway, they ended up uh, rehoming the child like it was a dog. I'm just, I'm appalled at that. You know, just, ugh. I don't have any kids. And, it, you know, at one point in my life, I thought about adopting a child, and I did go to an attorney, and it was, the cost was so, so expensive. And I was just a blue-collar worker, you know, and it was just something that I just was not going to be able to do. And for her to get this child, put him in this environment, and videotape, you know, his life, you know, or this portion of his life, with him having special needs and uh, profiting off of it, um, and then giving him away, like, secretly giving him away when he didn't suit her needs, when she finally realized, you know, what a special needs child is, that you have to devote your life to taking care of that child, you know, all the way into adulthood. And I think that child just cramped their kind of perfect lifestyle type of videos and their, you know, really clean looking aesthetic of their videos, you know, the way they accomplish things in their videos and things like that. She couldn't get things accomplished with him. And so he didn't fit into that category that she is, she seems to be, I don't know if she, I haven't watched, I think I've seen one or two of her videos before, but I think she may be a little bit obsessive compulsive. And I know what that is because I do have mild forms of that. And it is, you know, it can, you know, as it progresses, it can get worse and worse. But, um, for her to do this to that child is unconscionable. I just can't, I can't stomach it. And I've watched a whole bunch of other people's reaction videos. And I just the thought that, you know, she could give away one of her kids or her adopted child. You know, if there was something wrong with her other kids, would she give them away? I, that, to me, just proves that, you know, that separated him from her other children, that he was always going to be the adopted child in that family. And that was the, I think, the catalyst that she realized, you know, this is not my biological child, so that makes it okay. And it doesn't. I mean, I'm just, ugh. You know, they were rich. They are rich. They can afford all kinds of help, and they could have really done a lot for that child in his life. And instead of, I don't think she really spent enough time with him, and I think she was so busy, like I would say, was trying to correct him and make him into kind of, I think it was like a way of her to try to show that, oh, this is another one of my accomplishments, that I can make this, being the child, you know, turn into that, you know, a better version or fit into her lifestyle. And it, they just couldn't do it. 
you know, because when you work with a special needs child, and like I say, I don't have children, but I have had nieces and nephews, and I've been around friends, kids, you know, and, you know, I don't have child, any children, I don't, you know, I really can't judge what it's like to have a child, but I can judge what it's like not to have a child. And at one point I did want children, and the thought that I would have given one away, ooh, I just, it's very hard for me to think about that, to even, I mean, mentally, I just, it, I can't absorb it, you know. And the effect that that child's going to, you know, the way it's going to affect that child, the effect it's going to have on that child's life, that kid is going to remember this. And plus, it's been memorialized and documented, you know. And looking at all the videos where she was crying and trying to justify rehoming her child, or I can't remember the wording that she used, but that they found him another mother. Just, oh, unbelievable. I mean, I just can't. Ugh. I don't even want to, I mean, I don't even want to smile on this video because I don't want any clip of it. <laughs> I mean, it's just, I can't get over it, you know. And this is the only reason why I've done this, because I don't like reaction. I like to watch them from other people's channels and see their perspectives. But I don't like, that's not why my channel is going to be about reactions to other people. Because I do not want to get into all that <laughs> YouTubery kind of mess that they have with reaction channels and mm, I'll stick to my mukbangs my little life videos or whatever I'm doing I don't even know what I'm what I would be classified but I just can't imagine doing that I mean I just I I can't even talk about it really I don't even know what to say I mean when I first saw it I thought is this when I saw a bunch of them popped up on my feed and I was like what she gave her child away and first I, this lady gave her child away and then I kind of I clicked on the video and I realized yeah I think I've seen a couple of their videos before and then I watched several of them and I was just I was just astounded I was so shocked I mean just unbelievable okay well that's just my opinion and how I feel about it and just I don't know how they could have done that. And there, there was one video, though, that, that was really disturbing to me. where They taped up his thumb with duct tape. You know, I know a child with autism, uh, they're very repetitious, and they like to self-soothe, or they do things that may be irritating to the other people, but they're doing it to soothe themselves. And that thumb sucking was probably his coping mechanism, the way he self-soothes. Self-soothes. And... Uh, uh, to me that was very cruel you know and plus the duct tape after they take it off it's got all this sticky stuff on it they have to clean that he's going to suck his thumb anyway and that's just a self soothing coping mechanism a lot of autistic children have rituals that they do like that and so to me that video I think I did see a clip of that once before and that, that really did disturb me and knowing now everything involved with how I saw some more videos I went back through and I looked at a, you know several of them and she was very critical of him constantly criticizing him and making remarks and I don't think she was at all in the mental state of mind to take care of a special needs child so yes clearly he's probably in a better environment but the fact that they just gave up on him after they used him for videos and her husband seemed really not too affected by it and uh, I just think it was disgusting and disturbing, you know, just, I can't, I can't imagine that. Now, I hate for this to be such a negative video because that's not what I want my channel to be about. So I just wanted to say my piece on this. And I mean, I'm going to try not to do reaction videos because I really don't care for them too much. I could say I might watch a few, or some of them from other people. But I really don't want to get into that that realm of YouTube. But this just really hurt me. Really. And I'm going to have to go because I'm probably going to start crying. So thank you all for showing up and listening to this. Uh, comment, like, subscribe. Thank you. Thank you all my new subscribers. Thank you anybody else. Thank you so much. I love you so much.